takes us on to number three. Number three, yep. which is <laughs> research. Do you research? You know, again, we'll go back to a, a reference. Sorry, number three is reference. Number three is reference. Reference. Number two is research. Yeah. Number three is reference. So get your reference images. You know, take as many pictures as you can. Even if you're just taking a picture with your phone on the game, that's what I did. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, with a game like Fallout, that's ace. Because oh, yeah. as long as you've got that item, you can turn it around <laughs> yeah. and you can take, take as, many as many pictures as you, want, yeah. as you need. Top, bottom, left, right. It was getting to a point for me, I was... Uh, I went to the train station and saw a rusted pipe. Um, I took pictures of that. Yeah. Just because I wanted that effect, the paint peel, um, the rust underneath, the colours, it was perfect. So I just took a photo of that. Okay. You, know, you might look a little bit strange. <laughs> yeah, but you're a cosplayer. You always, <laughs> always, <laughs> you always look strange. a bit strange. Uh, I, drove, I drove here to Mercer Remake's headquarters with Brian in the yeah. back of the car and I got some funny looks. So, you know, as a cosplayer... You're always strange, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Life would be very boring if there wasn't a bit of strangeness. So again, reference and research go hand in hand. And yeah. you don't just have to, you know, get your reference images from a game. If you go out into the real world and you see, you know, like you say, like, you know, like a, a rusted pipe or a rusted box or... I don't know, like even moss growing on a stone. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It, 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 you want to get that and you want to be able to transfer that into your prop. And if you can take real world things and transfer them, you know, you, you're looking at more realism. Yeah, definitely. Um, you, you can't have enough reference. You really can't. Um, there was a point oh, I'd filled my floor with reference pictures. My iPad was full of reference pictures. Um, it is, I would say for me, one of the most, most important things if you were looking at creating a realistic cosplay. Mm -hmm. Even if even if it's not something that's based on a game, draw, do drawings. Yeah. If, I mean, if it's based on a game and it's not, you know, it's it's not a one to one scale, a hundred percent accurate mm -hmm. replica. Do your sketches? Yeah, when you I'm, create your measurements. You, you yeah, know. you create that. That's what that's what I do with mine. You know, and and I do that even if it's a, a you know like a piece from a game, and I've got a reference picture to make sure I've got the shapes right. I'll draw that mm. that piece on a, on a piece of paper, and then I'll know that I've got the shape right. So when I'm you know doing my patterns to make the armor and the you know, the, the full scale pieces, I know that I'm drawing the right shape. Yeah. Definitely. So I've got that, I've got that reference and I've got the movements that I need to make to make that shape, to get that onto a bigger scale so that I can... Yeah, I definitely agree. And I think that once you've got all that, it leads us into to number four really well. Mm -hmm. um, so number four, um, once you've got your livy to come up with your ideas, do your research, come up with your reference. You're then going to put a step-by-step -step guide of, of what you're going to build, how you're going to build it, and what you need to build it. Yeah. Um, the so most, this, is, this is from experience. <laughs> the most painstaking thing in the world <laughs> is seeing a list of 100 things you need to complete for a really small piece. <laughs> uh, it's quite demoralising to start with. Um, when, when we decided to, to cosplay, um, it gave us a time limit to, to create a lot. Yeah, it did. Um, gave us a deadline. And, and you write it all down and you start to panic six months before you need to. Um, and then when you start ticking things off on the list, you create more things to the list <laughs> yeah. that you still need to complete. Yeah, that's um, So, step-by-step <laughs> -step guide, so important. Um, you, you can get to a point where you're getting lost with a piece um, if you'd have just put a few steps in prior, mm -hmm. you'd have found it was a bit easier to get to the end result than trying to rush through things and not really thinking about it too much. Yeah, exactly. I mean, just just going back to the gold slash shotgun, you know, it started off as a as a cheap Nerf gun and then you've got to work out what you're going to do to that and what you need to make it realistic. And then, so you know, even just making a list which is 
sanding, priming, removing the tags, repriming, base coat. <laughs> that's five steps right there. Yeah. That's before you've even added the details, the weathering, your dirt pass, more weathering. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I made that mistake with uh, the plasma rifle, unfortunately. Um, the first thing I ever built. So I didn't bother with step by step. I took some pictures of stuff that I wanted it to look like um, and then just went, yeah, we'll just do all this, take it apart, make some holes, glue some bits together. Oh, I need to put lights in tear it all apart and start, and start again. Yeah. Um, so step by step, it, it might look so demoralising and disheartening when you've got a list of, of a million things that you haven't completed. But w there's quite a satisfaction at looking at that list when there's only one more thing to tick off. Yeah. And it when is it just smaller, coat smaller. it and or, you know, protect it. Job done. Yeah. You know, quick spray job done. Um, yeah. I mean, it's going to save your heartache yeah, later on certainly. down the line. Yeah. And also... There's nothing more frustrating than getting to a point in a project and you've not got the next piece. Yeah. Whereas if you make that list and you make the list including a shopping list, you know what you need to buy, you know when you're going to need that piece. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you can see yourself ticking it off. Oh, I need a, a rubber washer. Damn it, I've got no rubber washer. <laughs> <laughs> but if you've got that list, you know when you're going to need that yep. rubber washer. I mean, even if it means breaking a project down into small sections, uh, that, then let that be it. So dismantling of a, of a Nerf gun uh -huh. or any other branded airsoft weapon. Um, yeah, we're not afraid of <laughs> Nothing to do with Nerf. Um, so, Although, yeah. <laughs> if Nerf do want to get into it. <laughs> well, you know, we're here. Um, yeah. Uh, you know where we are. Dismantling, you know, even if it is dismantling, putting all the little pieces into a bag, labelling it, um, sanding it down. You know, yeah. taking photos of it. Photos are great when you take things apart and then you're wondering how, <laughs> how that goes back. Um, so, step by step. Yeah. Very important. Yeah, it is. So, we're doing well here. I, I know. Think. It's going well. Quite impressive. Okay. So, number five. Yeah. Don't overthink what you're doing. That's my problem all over. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. Um, it, it's so easy to become overwhelmed w with what you're creating yeah. um, and try and do so much in in a small amount of time. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely guilty of that all the time because when I start something, I want it finished, done, ready to go. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it is, it can become a burden. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I think for me, the most overwhelming thing was the vault suit. Yeah. Because that was a huge, huge undertaking. It, it was, and it was so far from anything, anything we'd yeah, done yeah. prior to, for the, for the cosplay. We've yeah, obviously done I mean, weapons, done bits and bobs. We've got, so, we've got you know, experience in, in painting and weathering and, you know, like our background is, you know, Warhammer yeah, models and models. dioramas and things like that. So we know how to create, you know, the various... Dirts and muds and paint effects and blood yeah. and, and all of that sort of stuff. But then when it comes to sewing and fabric, that's like... No. <laughs> that's like telling a surgeon he's got to fly a rocket. Definitely. It, it, it is... I mean, thanks, Mom. Um, <laughs> top job on, on sewing bits of my vault suit. Lady his own. Um, I wasn't screwing it up. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, it's still an, an area that I'm very unsure of. Mm -hmm. um, weathering it also became slightly tricky. Um, yeah, but again, with the weathering, obviously you want it to tell some kind of story. Yeah. Right? But you also don't want to think, oh, I need some... I need some paint there as blood. I need some paint there as blood. I need some paint there as blood. You know, it just, needs to become a natural. It's gotta it's gotta be a fluid, natural yeah. thing. But then going back to the piece as a whole, you don't wanna just sit there thinking about it. You don't wanna sit there thinking, Oh, I've got to do this now. Oh, I've got to do that now. Oh, I've got to do this now. You just wanna get in there get stuck in, make a start on it, 
Do well, I didn't. This yeah, was the thing. Exactly. I didn't want and to get I, a start on it. I pushed you and pushed you and pushed you. <laughs> Until two <laughs> days before Comic Con. Yeah, and, and I, I thought, said, I'm going to have to get it do done. it now. <laughs> yeah. You can't just sit there thinking and worrying about whether you're going to mess it up or not. Mm-hmm. And you might think that's ridiculous on something that's post-apocalyptic, which is supposed to look messy yeah. and not right. But I didn't want to... I was so worried about doing something that didn't make sense mm-hmm. to the whole thing. Um in my head, made sense. Yeah, um, no, okay. Not for people looking in because you would think, oh, a bit of dirt, it's a bit of dirt. But for me, it wasn't that at all. Yeah. Um, and it really, oh, I hate it. Again, I that it. goes back to number one. You lived that. Yeah. It's your vault suit. And you you wanted it to be right for yeah. you. For what I'd gone through. Yeah, for what in, you'd the, in the through. wasteland as such. Okay. So number six. This could be one of the most important yeah. commandments. <laughs> yeah. For any cosplay. Or anything you ever do, yeah, I think. Ever. This doesn't just go down to, to cosplay. This is across the board of yeah, everything. Everything. Practice. <laughs> Definitely. So number six. <laughs> practice. Commandment number six. <laughs> practice. Okay. So I can't stress enough. Get your pieces. Do not do anything to them <laughs> until you've practised so that you don't mess up the pieces that you've spent the yeah. last two weeks creating. So, we'll go back and we'll look at the shoulder piece. Yeah. Okay. That was interesting. <laughs> so, the shoulder piece was your first foray into EVA foam building. Yeah. And we cut the shape out. Mm-hmm. And we glued the top piece on. And... We left it. <laughs> yeah. Because we didn't want to mess that up. So then what did you do? We've got a spare bit of foam, or a couple of spare bits of offcuts foam. Mm-hmm. Um, did the same process, so did a few bends in them, uh, bits and bobs, and then I practiced looking at um, different ways to seal it. Um, you told me of some processes that, that had been used regular. Yeah. Done some right. research on my own, also. Research. Uh, research. Um, so... <laughs> So then I'd looked at different processes. So I'd got I'd gone out and bought different types of paint. I'd gone mm. out and bought bits and bobs that, you know, um, and ended up with a few test pieces um, because I painted it to start with and it didn't work. Um, <laughs> but we won't go into that. There's no pictures either, so there. Um, <laughs> no. But yeah, it, it, it was practice. Absolutely everything. Yeah. Um, You've got to practice because if you don't practice... Man, you're just going to mess up the piece. You're just going to ruin it. And then it puts you off. Yeah. There's nothing worse than, than building something and putting so much time into it. And then when it comes to a rust effect or, or whatever it is, um, that you then... But not so much paint, actually, because that, that's quite curable. Yeah, paint's um, easy to cure. Uh, but if you're using something that doesn't agree with a material, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden you... You know, um, for instance, like with the hot glue gun... Um, for the welds, now if I, you know, I could have thought, well, I'll use anything, and it would have burnt it open. It would have, it would have looked a mess. And it, in some respects, for as, mm-hmm. it's not so much of an issue because if it looks wrecked, it looks wrecked. It helps. Yeah. Um, but if you're doing more stricter pieces that don't allow for that sort of happy little accident, well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but then you've got issues where, like, you know, you could have, like, two different brands of paint. So you've got a, a brand of undercoat that's got a certain type of chemical mm-hmm. in that the top coat doesn't agree with, and then it'll bubble and split, and then your paint will look, what like, not how you want it to. Yeah. And then, again, you're going back to number one. Uh, you know, live it. Is that right? Yeah. Do you want that look? Because maybe you don't, but you don't want to... Test those two spray paints on your actual piece. Test them on on a on a scrap piece. Yeah, you're always going to have off if you're using EVA foam or you you, you pick, everyone who works with EVA foam has got loads of little bits of off cuts that are really useful for that sort of thing. Um, and I wish I'd have done some um, practice pieces for the vault suit mm. because I would have then probably gone out a lot sooner and got that sorted. Yeah, but then. Was, with the vault suit, we haven't got really anything to no. practice on. You've got one vault suit, and there's no offcuts of material from that vault suit. No. So it was sort of... Yeah, bite the bullet. All time. or nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, you, you practice, definitely, yeah. 